Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to my YouTube. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film so many videos here talking all about relationships and spirituality and shadow work and so, so much more. And for this video, we are gonna delve into something so different because I had my daughter. I finally gave birth to a beautiful little girl and I wanna share exactly what I did because in my previous video where I announced my pregnancy, I said that I'm gonna be doing things so different to the norm and I'm gonna be going completely outside of the system but I didn't really delve into exactly what I meant by that because I wanted to go through the experience first before I talk about it. And now I've been through it and my baby girl is here, Azaria, she's so perfect. Oh, she's so perfect. But anyway, I wanna talk about exactly what I did and from the title of this video, you will know that I had a wild pregnancy and a free birth, which basically means I chose not to opt into any type of maternity service. And here in the UK, we have the NHS where it's funded by our taxes. And I chose not to opt into that service, which is completely legal here in the UK. It's an opt-in service, it's optional. And I chose not to bother with that because I wanted an undisturbed pregnancy and an undisturbed birth without intervention, without fear-mongering, without over, like, over the top types of monitoring and stuff like that. And obviously, this can get a little bit controversial, but I'm just here to share my experience and I'm not saying that everyone should do this. I'm just saying this is what I wanted and I got what I wanted and it was incredible. And honestly, it went the best that I could have ever imagined it to go and I'm so, so glad that I did it. And my partner was really happy with it as well because he was a little bit like unsure as well. It's our first child. Neither of us knew exactly what to expect. And I definitely didn't know what to expect in terms of pain level. <laughs> so now that we've been through it, we have more of an idea of exactly what to expect. And I would definitely do the same again if I had another child. So yeah, we chose not to opt into any type of maternity service and to just trust my body, to listen to it, to take care of myself, most importantly, like what I eat and exercise and all of that kind of stuff. Apart from the first trimester with the horrific morning sickness that I had all day that just could not be avoided and that was not fun but apart from that that was the only kind of negative side of pregnancy that I experienced the rest was just so peaceful so calm because I didn't have any appointments to go to I didn't have to stress about anything we did hire a doula which is for emotional support so we had antenatal sessions with her and she would come to our house and also over zoom and we talked all about the physiology of birth and the physiology of pregnancy and how our bodies are so incredible and how they know exactly what to do. And like our bodies literally, I don't even need to tell it what to do to create my child. It just created our heart, created our organs, you know, created every cell without me having to know what it's doing or tell it what to do because it's a natural physiological process that our bodies do and are designed to do and I wanted that to be as undisturbed as possible like even scans disturb that because it's radiation that you're literally putting on your child and although we did choose to have two private scans um, just knowing and being informed about what they actually are and what they actually do to your body so that you can decide whether you want it or not that was like the key thing for me so we chose to have two private scans outside of the NHS and that was literally it. That's the only type of medical care that we had. Um, and then the rest was just flowing with my body, you know, taking care of myself, seeing our friends and family. We had a gender reveal party and all of that kind of stuff, like the usual pregnancy things, but just without the growth scans, because all of these things I personally do not agree with. I think they're very outdated. They're not accurate. And it's just a lot of worrying and stress for no reason. But I will say that if um, at any point my body or my baby, like if at any point I felt like there was something wrong, if I experienced any types of pains or like something that was alarming, then I would have obviously gone and sought medical attention. Like if there was something that needed it, then I would have absolutely gone and sought it. But nothing happened. I didn't need anything like that. I was trying to take care of myself and eat well and get lots of nutrients and stuff. Like they obviously give you supplements and things. I was trying to get a lot of that through food. 
and through um, kelp instead of sea moss I went with kelp and it has obviously a lot of minerals in it and stuff so I was just trying to take care of myself listen to my body and pay attention to my baby and how my body felt with her movements and stuff like that and then just enjoy the pregnancy and honestly it was so peaceful because I wasn't having to deal with any type of like small baby worries which I know would have happened because she was only six pound four when she was born so now coming out the other side I know that I probably would have had like they would have wanted me to do extra growth scans and stuff and I'm just glad I didn't have to worry about any of that type of thing because I didn't opt into it but again I'm not saying that everyone should do that I think you should just trust yourself because I really feel like medical care is there for emergencies it's not there just for pregnancy just from the get-go because pregnancy is not an emergency it's not a medical condition it is a physiological natural thing that our body is designed to do and only when there is an emergency do we then need to get it that's the way that I view it and that's how I went about it and what I would have done if I needed medical attention so that is what we did for the pregnancy and the birth was the same thing. I didn't want midwives there. I didn't want any interventions. I didn't want the epidural. I didn't want any like sweeps or exam examinations or just any of that stuff that is basically a form of induction that disrupts the physiology of pregnancy and of birth. I wanted it to just be as natural as possible. And if I needed medical attention, then I would have gone and got it, you know, like I would have transferred to hospital if I needed to, but I didn't need to. Thank God, because she was so beautiful and perfect and I'm just so grateful that everything went smoothly and so magical and as best as it possibly could have gone. And I really feel like this is why she's so calm because we had a home birth, it was a water birth and yeah, it was just dim light, you know, candles, meditation music, like it was just so peaceful and yeah. I feel like it couldn't have gone any better because of that and she's so calm as well like she's a very very chill baby and obviously she gets upset when she wants something but then once she's got it she'll sleep and she'll chill and she'll laugh and kick her legs in the air and stuff and just be silly and I oh honestly I never thought that like I didn't know what to expect with having a child and they all say that you just fall in love as soon as she's there and now I understand why because that is exactly what's happened but yeah so we just had a nice home birth, it was a water birth, and we hired the birth pool, and yeah, I just, I mean, it was quite a long birth, to be fair, and I had definitely had enough by the end of it, but it was just so, like, relaxing and calm, my partner and our doula gave me massages throughout it, like, through the waves of contractions and stuff, it was way more painful than I expected, I don't know why I didn't think it was going to be that painful when they literally call it the ring of fire, like, I thought that that meant it was going to be a little bit painful, but not the level that it felt, but then I didn't have any, um, pain relief so that could be why and also I feel like everyone's pain threshold is different and I've not really gone through anything that's that painful in my body like I've never broke a bone I've never done anything like that let's touch some wood <laughs> that's never happened for me so maybe my pain threshold is just a lot lower than I thought but it was just it did really hurt but it was so so worth it and as soon as she was here it's like oh you don't even remember all of that that much like I'll happily would do it again just for a baby because they're for life <laughs> you know if they're for like a year and it was a temporary thing then no I would not do that again because that was so painful but because it's a little human that you're going to raise and grow with for the rest of your life it's so worth the pain <laughs> so yeah we chose not to go through the NHS for that, but literally just because I wanted it undisturbed and as undisturbed as possible. And I'm so, so glad that we did it and it was so beautiful. And I would definitely recommend it if you're healthy and you feel confident in it because it really is about taking your own responsibility for your body and for your baby and for your experience, you know, because a lot of people go through a lot of trauma when it comes to birth. And I didn't have any of that. And I really feel like that's because I chose the free birth and yeah, that's just my decision. So yeah, I am back to filming. I am back to getting through my music and working on my album and everything like that. And videos will be coming very soon. I really, really appreciate you. I hope you're having the best week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to check out the description box below for everything about me, links to my music, my social media, our community group chat is also on Telegram and everything else about me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Love it how you move me forward Move me forward Tell them that